Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the second of our World Cup previews. It's Group B, it's Portugal, it's Spain, it's Morocco, it is Iran. Thoughts on this group, Baz? Interesting. Well, I mean, I think what is good about this group is that two of the heavyweights of the tournament face each other straight away mm. in Portugal and Spain. Friday night, it's going to go off big time after Morocco and Iran have played the third game of the tournament Friday afternoon. It's it, it's it's um it's exciting. It's a it's a I mean it's a stacked group, isn't it, let's be honest. Portugal mm. and Spain. Obviously Portugal, current European champions. They've got Ronnie in there, they've got a handful of household names. Um Ronaldo's sort of, I suppose it is. Swan song. It's interesting, isn't it? Because we put all this pressure on Messi to win a world. Got to, got to win a world. Got to win a world cup. Got to win a world cup mm. if he wants to be considered the greatest. I've, I i do not think I've ever heard anybody say Ronaldo's got to win a win, win a win world, a world cup. cup. I don't think I've ever heard that. But the people put him in the shame. Both. Some people do, some people say he's the greatest. No, I know, but I think in a general, more round the conversation, I think Messi's compared to Maradona and Pele um, for his dribbling antics and his goals and stuff. Antics? Antics. Uh, his dribbling ability, rather, yeah. and his goals and stuff. Whereas Ronaldo, I don't think that. I think people think he's a, he's a fantastic footballer. I don't know whether he's actually put in that bracket with mm. Pele and with Maradona. I don't. No, I don't, but then some people do seem Well, as people do. People will say that. But Messi's won the Copa America. I think, hasn't he? Oh, he has, to be honest. I'm sure he has. Or if. Or, mate, that would be. Yeah. If he did, that would be the equivalent yeah. of what Ronaldo's won. So, you know, it, it's the same argument for Ronaldo, surely. Mm. You know, if he's to. But be, it's his last. It's probably going to be his last World Cup. Yeah, well, yeah. he's 33, and it it probably is actually. It's not. He's at. He's past. He's past, he's past his peak, isn't he? He's past mm -hmm. his best. But then, you know, the way the World Cup is sort of. Uh, go back two years to the Euros. No mm. one expected them to win. No, you know they got beat by Iceland. Um, just made it out the group, mm -hmm. and yet went on and win it. And he didn't even play the full game in the final. He played what first twenty minutes, and then mm -hmm. went off injured. Um, and then coached the team. Attacked by moths, if mm. you remember rightly. Um, and then coached the team, basically. Uh, didn't see Salah doing that. Um, a day scored the winner in that. He was fucking yeah. average at Swansea. So, I don't know. I, I don't know whether... I, I expect them to get out the group, but I don't expect big things from them. Because I don't think, apart from Ronaldo, I don't think they've got a... They've got a goal scorer mm. as such. I think they've always struggled with it. I think they've always produced good sides, but never had that goal scorer. And then obviously Ronaldo come to the come to the fore, so that that really helped. But I don't know if they've ever had that that real goal scorer who could take them up to the next level. No, that's been a problem for them. They've always had good players like Charisma. They've had Samal. Remember Samal was the big thing, and you know abilities being as Jan Moutinho. You know going back, they had shoes and players like that but the strikers were always like held the posture had come into to top yeah. them and got one goal or so probably should yeah. have been um, you know the odd goal and they've never had a, like you say an out and out goal scorer really which all their ability has been spread around the pitch yeah. but never really in the probably where they, they needed it you know at the peak time and um He's the one, but they needed another one with him yeah. because he's only really gone into being a centre forward in his latter years. You know, he was a wide player. He was a player who played off the striker, or, and I think they needed someone to take the physical mm. elements away from him to allow yeah. him to do his thing. And he never really had that. Spain are an interesting team because obviously, at having won you know a World Cup, a couple of European Championships, and then fallen flat. No, last time out. Um, I don't know how much is expected of them, but because there's not that much expected of them, you know, you look at the side, you look at the players, and you think, 
you know, they're, they're, they've still got a really good team. They've still they've got. I think they've had to change the style slightly with Costa yeah. being up front. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but they've still got so much talent in that squad. I mean, the talent they've left out is incredible. So the talent they've got in it, and um, it'll be interesting to see them in the group stages to see what how they put it all together mm -hmm. and if they can find. I mean, in the past it was you knew what you were getting. You were yeah. getting that that press and style, but, tippy -tack. but added with the the tiki tacker. The tiki tacker, but added with you know, seeing Ramos there. Mm -hmm. You know, you added with that kind bit of, of steel, bit yeah. of steel and and a bit of directness when they needed it. But it was just such a fantastic football inside, and you know the way they, when they when they beat Italy four 0 in the Euros, mm -hmm. it was just it was just ridiculous how good they were. Um, but so the, I think the group stage. I think I, 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 it's a, it's an interesting group stage because obviously you have Portugal in there. I suppose they're nearest rivals in, in terms of location, and then having two sides that could present challenges because they could shut up shop, mm -hmm. or they could be a little bit more. Uh, um, Morocco strike me as a team that might be a little bit more physical. Uh, Iran, I imagine, probably would be physical as well. So. But they might shut up shop, and that'll be interesting to see whether you can break them down. I think they that gives them all the key ingredients to see how you know whether they can put it all together. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think that's better than having a group where it's like easy because mm. only you ever find anything out about yourselves if it's easy. I don't I mean to be fair. I don't think you very you get easy games at this level anyway. No, the groups you see groups and you go should be that's a comfortable group. And the games don't always pan out exactly how mm -hmm. you'd expect to, you know. Um I think Spain, you're right, they they were they were outstanding in the O eight. Yeah. You know, when they won the World Cup in ten and the Euros again in twelve. Mm -hmm. You know, that 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 team was just absolutely brilliant, you know, and they were always the not I wouldn't say the butt of the jokes, but they were always they've got no battle, they can't yeah. put it together, they've got talented players and then yeah. it clicked. You know, and he went on and on and on, and they have had to, they have had to change the way they play now. They've got a, they've got a wealth of talent, but at the top end of the pitch, you know, there was Torres and there was David Villa, mm. you know, and and they've, they've but it was also Xavi and Iniesta the and strings. Was, I know yeah. Iniesta's still in there, but and they had Pedro at times, and you know, the, these smaller, faster players. Now they've got that physical presence of Diego Costa, who, who will cause problems mm. for teams and flank him with with plays you can get goals as well so but they've still got the the ability in the in the midfield they've got you know that level of control that are, that are technically a brilliant side but they could go you know either way couldn't they the the, the, the ability is there for them to yeah. win it quite comfortably but if they don't if they're not heavy in terms of the goal scoring i think i think they've got that's what i'm saying about the group i think they, they get off to a good start mm. um you play Portugal, you know, first game. That's a, it, in some respects, that's a good, good thing. But in other respects, if they were to lose the game, you know, with the, the, the going up against the Ran who broke the record for uh, twelve consecutive clean sheets in qualifying, so they're quite no, that's that's wrong. It was North Korea who broke the uh, was it? Yeah, yeah, they've they 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 record. They, they, there's your belief. They've never lost a game. Never lost a game. Won every World Cup, apart from to Kim Jong Un. Um, so they're obviously defensively yeah. very, very uh, disciplined, you know. And I shouldn't imagine they're going to come out all guns blazing mm. against those sides. You know, they probably look and think five points could get us out the group here, and they made the, their first game against Morocco. They, well, that's what's that's what's interesting yeah. for the flip side of those two. It's those two because mm. again, when we spoke about Group um, A mm. and the way that 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 panned out, yeah. this is similar. You know, Morocco and Iran. If that's their winnable game, you know, if they it? can get that win in that first game and then suddenly go into that second game, you know, especially if the winner of that one plays the loser of, you know, well, it could act, obviously could happen, but if uh, the winner of one against the loser of the other, and then all the pressure suddenly is on. It's a pressure game, isn't it? It, it, it could be interesting. You don't get a draw in that and, and you're four points up, but I mean, both, you know, both Morocco and Iran have got, have got players to look out for. I mean, Morocco have got. More household names um, than what they ran off. You know, you talk and see at at Ajax, who's a, who's been linked with Everton, yeah. quite a lot, fantastic player, um, good ability. You know, um, direct. We've seen him 
being brilliant on the way f- through the Europa mm. League final last year. Um, you know, and he, he hasn't quite been the same without Davy Classen. No, uh, but you know, he's a very, very good player. There's, yeah. there's uh, Benatia at uh, Juventus, the yeah. centre back, so he's obviously playing at a good level. Um, so there's players who we know. You yeah. Know, there's, we, we've also singled out Saïs, who's at Wolves. So people. Morocco, are, Morocco, are like, obviously they're always a nation. They're a nation who are. You can see Morocco from Spain, for a start. You can. I mean that. That's actually. That that's two derbies. Yeah, yeah. For, for, well, yeah, it, technically, yeah. it's not, well. Gibraltar's not. Well, let's not get into that. Yeah. Um, but you can on a clear day. You can see oh, Morocco. Oh, from oh, 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 you're not doing yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, well. You can see Morocco. So actually, that's a, that's 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 two derbies. Mm. That's two derbies. Two derbies. Um, uh, but Morocco, know. because they are right on the, mm. right on the tip. It is that mix of like, like a European. You're just thinking of. El Hadji and um, no, no. But you're, you're, you're thinking of El Hadji. You're thinking of Hassan Kassou. No, but, but what's interesting about Morocco is they almost straddle three continents because mm. they're right on Europe. They're in Africa, and you've also got you know you've got the Middle East, yeah, and you've got Asia, Asia or you know you know you've you they straddle really mm. from their location. So you get you get different influences of, and st- of you have, style. You know, yeah. a lot of their players coming to Europe, and you have a lot of players from that area mm. who um, are. Don't want to see European rejects, but when you look at people, teams like you know Algeria and Tunisia and these kind of, they have a mix. They have, they have play, you know, they are the the the, the sons of mm. of people from Europe and things like that. So there's a lot of different styles. They have a lot of technical players in there as well, yeah. you know. So I, I, that'll be that'll be a good game. That the, the, you know, especially in Spain, and that'll be an interesting matchup of of uh, of different cultures and stuff. So well, we've got around, you know, picked out a couple. Jam Basque. Leeds broke the record for an African player in Europe. I think it is um, twenty-one goals last season for a, for AZ. No, that's it's not it's Kim Jong Un again. Again, you're right. Yeah, he scored uh, twenty-one goals for AZ in the uh, Eredivisie, and there's also Teremi who's got eleven and twenty-five at international level. But he's a he's a bit of a hothead. Um, but he's a very very good player, mm. quick. And there's got uh, Godass who played against Arsenal for Osterund, who's very good as well. So they've got players that can hurt you, but they I expect though Iran to be more disciplined than what Morocco will be in terms of star from the defensive mm. point of view. Keep it tight. Don't but beat. the interesting thing is, like you said, is the the key games you've are almost be, the first. Yeah, game, you've got to be brave, so. haven't you, in your mm. first game? Because a draw for for both of them. Although they say never lose your first game mm. in these tournaments, when your next two games are Portugal and Spain, you've got you've to gotta almost be, you've got to be, brave, gotta be brave because if you can get the win, like you said, because we've seen teams do that. I think New Zealand did it four years ago, didn't they? They went out the tournament undefeated, mm. three draws, three yeah. draws. It's not you know, it's you win the game, you've got the three points. No. If they because if if whoever win, you know, if you can win that opening game. Essentially, you, you can nick a point off both of those. You threw five points. You threw. Mm. So I think anyway. I know <laughs> Morocco. Eh, sorry, Spain and Portugal quite easily beat both of them and have six. But you're giving yourself, mm-hmm. you're giving yourself a good chance with with the five points, yeah. aren't you? So who knows? Yeah, it looks like a good group. One of the uh, obviously starts on the uh, on the Friday, fifteenth mm, of June. Um, so yeah, two key games. The, the, it's the key games in the group. The opening game. It's fascinating. Come here, fascinating. First day of Group B. Do you have it? There you go. Group B sorted. Let us know your thoughts in the comments if you have any thoughts. Is there anyone we missed out? Any names that we should be talking about? Who is going to be the star man for each of these teams? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Useless fact: Morocco manager managed Cambridge United. For 25 games in 2004. There you go. Thought he was sacked. No. Kim Young. Kim Young on again. Done it again, didn't he? And took him to the Premier League. Sorry, mate. Won the Premier Won League. Won the Premier with, League twice. Yeah. 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 Unbeaten. Yeah. See you later.